one of the most dramatic scenes in all of Tanakh. Brothers coming together after being distant for so long. Hugging, kissing, connecting with one another. It's one of the most moving scenes in all of Tanakh. What scene am I speaking about? It's not when Yosef meets his brothers in Egypt and reveals his identity. It's when Yaakov and Esav hug and kiss at the beginning of this parasha. Yaakov is preparing for war. He has no idea what to expect. But when they see each other, It's a very moving scene. They hug, they kiss, they cry together. What do we make of Esav's behavior here? He's a warrior. He wants to kill Yaakov, and yet he's crying in the scene. And the Midrash suggests, partially because they're nikudim, they're little dots on top of the word vayishakehu, that truthfully, Esav wanted to, wanted to, to hurt Yaakov. He wanted to actually bite Yaakov and hurt him and cause him pain, as opposed to just giving him a kiss. However, other parshanim see here a different side of Esav. They see an Esav that is compassionate, that's loving. They see an Esav that wants to have a brother in Yaakov. They see an Esav that no longer has the veneer and the toughness of a warrior, of some tough brute and hunter, but just a, a kind, soft, gentle, gentle person. What is it that brought this out in Esav? I think the answer is that sometimes in life, when we, we have a machloket, we have a difference of opinion with someone, there's a fight, a clash, and when we're distanced from them, when we don't see them in person, so we conjure up ideas in our, in our, in our memory or in, or in our mind of what they're like. And often we, we think of the worst of those other people and we find them threatening. But then when we see them face to face, when we encounter them and we see their, their full being, it changes. It changes when we realize, well, this is a person in front of me. This is someone who I, even if I'm frustrated, I still love them very much. And that's what I think happens with Esau here. When he sees Yaakov, when he beholds Yaakov, he's moved, he's touched, and he even cries. And all of the anger, all of the resentment, that's pushed aside. And that's what's really powerful about this, uh, this scene. Esav is a complicated char- character in, uh, in Tanakh. But here we see, he, we see his humanity, and we see his, his, gentle, his gentle side. Wishing you a good evening, Erbta.